Hello everyone and welcome to Dead Rising Encyclopedia. I'm your host, Steve XDR, and on this special episode, I'm going to be sh telling you all about melee weapons. Now, there's a huge variety of melee weapons in Dead Rising. Now, as you can see right now, the weapon I'm holding right now is the regular sword. If you jump, yeah, it cut them right in half. It's pretty cool. And there's also another variety of melee weapons, actually. Oh, hold on. This is Ripper's Blades in North Plaza. Now, in North Plaza, there's not many stores, but they do have two of the most useful stores in the entire game. Now, Ripper's Blade is, Blades is one of the most useful stores because they have culturally weapons like katanas, hunting knives, cleavers, swords. But they do not have the battle axe. The battle axe is in Ned's Knickknackery in Paradise Plaza. Now, I'm going to be keep going from plaza to plaza right now to show you where a bunch of really good weapons are. We are now in Wonderland Plaza. Uh, I'm not even going to answer Otis. FYI, if you have any achievement questions to ask me, go, f go free ahead and ask me because I've done practically everything. The only thing I have not done is 7 Day Survivor, just because I got bored at 5 a.m. in the morning. So, I just shut my Xbox off, to tell you the truth. Ow! And I was only on day 4. I wasn't going to wait any longer. Right here is where you would find the one-handed chainsaw from Adam. Now, in my other videos, you can see me using it very frequently. I use it in all the boss battles. It's like one of the best weapons if you don't have the Mega Man Buster, if you don't feel like killing all the zombies. The chainsaw is your next best, get, best guess if you don't want to work all that way to get it. And Adam's not that hard of a boss to beat to get it anyways. Alright. Come in. Tune in next time for when I'm in Entrance Plaza and I show you a bunch of other melee weapons. See you guys later.